Welcome back to another episode of Brass and Beer. Today we are doing a little gun cleaning and we are using my Remington gun cleaning kit to do that. If you haven't seen my last video, I did a little review slash like what's inside this cleaning kit. So go ahead and uh, look in the description below for that video. It'll be a, a link. Uh, other than that, if you're new to my channel, you should go check out some of my other videos that I have on my channel. Uh, lots of gun videos and just gun related videos. So uh, welcome to Brass and Beer. Uh, click the subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, got great videos coming out for the rest of the year. Other than that, let's get started on cleaning this gun with my Remington gun cleaning kit. Uh, first things first, of course, we will, I guess, just take apart the gun. Probably get a tool out here. And if you guys were curious, this is my Sears Model 25. And um, I did actually do a uh, review and shooting video and breakdown and uh, much, much more on this gun. Perfect. All right, now we got the gun tore apart enough to get to uh, cleaning it. So we're gonna take our little brass brush here, uh, of course labeled in the 22 cal. One thing I do like about this kit, it's labeled really nice, like especially on the squeegee, it's labeled nice and big. And uh, we're going to go ahead and feed it through, back through the very back here. It's going to go all the way through. Perfect. And then now I'm going to go ahead and apply some of my board cleaner. All right, pretty generous amount there. Now just gonna pull it through. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the little orange squeegee and squeegee all that that uh, board cleaner and gunk and debris and all that stuff. Everything's got loosened up. We're going to just scrape it all out of there. All right. And I always keep it aimed down. So it scrapes all that liquid out of there and you can see it's pretty dirty at the start there, but at the end it's nice and clean. So I know that it is uh, nice and clean. The whole thing is. And I go ahead and always just clean this stuff up once I'm done using it. Usually once through on that squeegee is good. If you go twice through, it might kind of get stuck in there and then you pull a little too hard and it might rip. So just be aware of that. I always do a quick visual inspection down the barrel and it looks great to me. It looks nice and clean. And then I'm going to take my brush uh, and uh, put a little more the cleaner that I use on it. It's like an all-in-one too, not just a board cleaner. And uh, go ahead and kind of scrub all the debris and stuff out of my uh, bolt and everything and get the spring as well. Get a little bit more cleaner on there. So just wiping everything up that I just got done brushing. And you can see nice new clean parts here. Got a few little strings. And then from here, we can take our oil, put a few little dabs in the action itself. Put a few in the trigger. Any moving parts I usually like to do it in. I'm spill a little bit, you can just wipe it up, no big deal. All right, now we're just gonna go ahead and reassemble the gun. All right, once you have your rifle all back together, uh, you can now uh, put just a few dabs of oil and some more moving parts and stuff. Just kind of let that oil work its way in by moving those parts back and forth. And that is how you clean a gun with a, in this particular case, a, uh, a rifle with the Remington cleaner kit. So uh, as you can see, I used a few different things out of this kit. I didn't use everything, uh, but you know, for the most part, um, I, I think eventually will just, you know, on certain guns you use different things, but uh, pretty quick and effortless. The squeegee is the absolute best part. Like I said, once through, you can go twice through, but it tugs a little bit hard. And uh, I actually, on this one, I ripped off the very tip of the squeegee. 
So that is one kind of small fault, but I think it's kind of my own fault for probably running the squeegee through uh, too many times if it's a little dry. If you do feel like running the second time through, maybe just put a drop of board cleaner in right before it runs through so it can just kind of help slide it along and then it'll clean out any uh, remainder. But anytime I do that once through and it's good to go, you don't ever really need to go uh, clean or go through a second time. And usually you can tell because the base will be the dirtiest and the tip will be cleaner. And if the tip comes out basically pretty much pure clean and there's no contaminants on it, uh, then you'll, you'll know that you're good to go. So other than that, I hope you liked the video. So if you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments down below. And last but not least, I consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, if you don't think this is enough to make you subscribe, then go check out some of my other videos and maybe one of those will uh, help you subscribe. Uh, other than that, thanks for watching.